real quick video on um, bearings, the, the dimensions of the bearings when they um, when you got to go through an outside vendor to order bearings. So you go to a bearing shop and you're on the phone. They're going to ask you a couple of uh, questions of dimensions. So I'm going to get my tape measure and I'm going to show you uh, exactly what they need. So I get my tape measure. So first of all, the bearings are bad. But when I came here um, over the weekend, the belt was on. I took the belt off. So I tried to isolate it, determine because it was locked up. It wouldn't move at all. So I took the belt off because I didn't know if the motor was locked up or the bearings were locked up. But as you can see, when I took the belt off, I, I spin it and the motor spins freely well, with no problem. Uh, check it like this, the bearings look good inside the motor. So no problem there. But when I went to this one, it won't turn at all. It's just locked up. No matter, no matter what I do, it's, it's locked up and ain't going nowhere. So, and just, I can't really, I kind of move this one a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna replace both of the bearings. I'm gonna replace this bearing. One is a fixed bearing and one is a floating bearing. But if you chain one, you might well chain two of them. I think this is the bad one right here. If you look on the wall, I got oil splatter everywhere on this thing, and you can see all the oil on here, also on the inside. All this oil splat. I don't know if it was old oil or it just shifted some type of way and it splattered all the oil everywhere. But it's oil everywhere in here. So I think this is the bad one. Like I said, I don't know if it's normal wear and tear or what caused it to lock up like this. I'm thinking maybe the inside scrubbing or something, but don't seem to be scrubbing. So I'm going to replace both of them. But the dilemma is, well, not. This is a uh, York JCI unit. Uh, JCI. And this unit uh, needs to be up and running. So we're gonna go to an outside vendor and they, they we need to know the specs. This is a Dodge brand. It's a Dodge. But other than the manufacturers, there's no other numbers on here. Uh, they're telling me like the model number, which I know the model number because I contacted JCI and I got the model number written down somewhere. Somewhere in my notes. But I got the model number or the part number for the bearings, but to get it from JCI is a two weeks uh, hold time on them. So we need to get it from a local vendor. Um, see my specs right here. Well, I got the part number somewhere in here. I think I got it written down somewhere. Anyway, um, just to show you when you're on the phone with the uh, the vendor or the bearing place, like I say, they're gonna ask you a few questions on the specs, and they're gonna need five things. I'm trying to put this on my camera on the head. Hopefully we can see. First thing, they're gonna need to know the width, what a length. We're gonna get the length first. Like I say, they're gonna need to know five things. The length, the width, from the base to the center of the shaft, or the center of the bearing, and so there's three things. They're gonna need to know the center of the lugs, or the bolts, the bearing they're gonna need to know the shaft size that's number five 
So first we're gonna start at the south side, which is two and three sixteen. So that's the size of the shaft, two and three sixteen. If your uh, pulley, if you can't read it off your pulley, you're gonna need to get a measure tape and measure. Two and three sixteen. See mine says it right there. So I know the shaft size. Now you're gonna need to know. We're gonna start at the bottom, work our way up. You're gonna need to know the center of the bolts. The center to center. Hope you can see that. The center to center of the bolts. I got nine inches, so I get a piece of paper and write that down. But from center to center of the bolts, nine inches. Then I want to, just the bearing side. It looks like two plates right here. This is welded on this part of, the, of this. So you want to make sure you're getting the, the bearing, the width, the length of the bearing. So from here, from here to here, I got 11 inches. So they're gonna need to know that. So the length of the bearing is 11 inches. Now we're gonna go with the width. See that? Three inches. So the width of it is three inches. That's my third thing. I think that's, that's, that's my third, third or fourth. So the base. The base to the center of the shaft is three and three eighths. See, got three and three eighths. So I got my length, I got my width, got the base to the center, and I got the length for the center of the bolts. And I got my shaft side. That's pretty much all, they, all they're gonna need. That should be five things. Okay, one is the length, two is the width, three is the center of the bolts, the center of the bolts right here, and four is the base to the uh, center of the shaft, and the, uh, the shaft size is two and three, three sixteen, that's five. Like I say, sometimes you can't always see the shaft on that pulley. So you want to get you one of these. You want to get you one of these, you can measure it this way also. A lot of times you're not going to be able to read. inches I got about 2.118 so you had to go to a conversion chart to, uh, to convert it. Millimeter is 53 inches so you may have a conversion chart on here. Yeah, anyway, Google conversion chart. Like I say, if it, if, if, it, if it don't read, if you can't read the uh, shaft size on your pulley, uh, hope you got one of these or you can use a tape measure and uh, go from there. But that's my goal today. I got to try to replace these big boards. I'm going to take my pulley off. Hopefully I can get some video of it. Uh, should have some hip on the way. So we got to get something to uh, brace this thing up with. Or that shaft won't fall down. 
That should be fun. This is the exhaust fan. The supply fan is working. But we gotta get this exhaust fan up and running. Alright, H-back people!